and the city did tidy up for Dreamforce, but this cleanup is much more extensive. While San Francisco is in the spotlight for the Asia Pacific Economic Conference, city leaders are making sure the city shines. Caltrans repaving major roadways like the Harrison Street off ramp from the I 80. BART doubling down by deep cleaning their stations overnight more often. Scrubbing and power washing is happening all over the city. It's noticeable how clear the streets look and how few homeless encampments there are on major thoroughfares. Public Works is installing decorative crosswalks in North Beach and Chinatown, and the Webster Street pedestrian bridge in Japantown was recently repainted. The Yerba Buena Gardens at the Moscone Center are decked out with new colorful landscaping and murals, paid for by the Clean California grant, just in time for the 20,000 high-profile CEOs and heads of state coming into town next week. Some people say this should be how it's always done. What about the people who are here year-round, you know, and like local, hardworking, working-class Bay Area folks. And city officials are saying that there are no additional funds that are being allocated for beautification. Departments are just using existing budgets. Well, don't you find that interesting? This was existing funds that they already had. So what does that tell you? Before we dive into this video, don't forget to like, subscribe. You got to be subscribed to this great channel. And don't forget to share so we can get it out there. And listen to just telling you right there, admitting it on live TV. These funds were already here. They just decided to do it. So you have this APEC coming into town as well as G, right? So all of these people are coming into town. What does San Francisco do? Just all hands on deck. Now let's clean up the disgusting city. I wonder what they did in Union Square. I wonder if they're anywhere near that because that was like a completely walking dead just confine right there. But look at what they did. The streets are all squeaky clean. They're pressure washing things. Isn't that beautiful? You can see sidewalks before where they didn't give a hot damn about anything. Paint all up on the awnings. And then after everything repainted, they're doing the stairs, cleaning everything up. These people are showing you right here. It's all about America last. This right here is proof to show you that they can do it whenever they want. They just choose not to do it. They rather watch the country burn and it just, just watch it go completely to hell than to do something. But when we have certain clientele come into the city, then we're going to do it. Then we're going to put our best foot forward. Then what do they do? Just to make sure that people stay off the sidewalks, they put planners all along the sidewalks now. That's extremely interesting. Why are we doing that now when the businesses have been crying out for this the whole entire time and then they have it fenced off like Fort Knox or something like that like just some fortress just all down the sidewalks all down the streets just these big large gates just fencing everything off so you can't go into the street so they cleared off all the sidewalks and now they have like almost these fenced areas where it's single file line almost like this is where you're gonna walk you're not allowed to go this way look at the effort they put forth and I'm going to show you guys right now, this might be a world exclusive. This is unseen, almost like Bigfoot, right? They had that video. I wonder whatever happened with that. They followed up with the people that caught Bigfoot supposedly while they were riding on the train. But this is exclusive worldwide footage. This is Gavin Newsom actually telling the truth for once. I know folks say, oh, they're just cleaning up this place because all those fancy leaders are coming into town. Um, that's true because it's true. So the clown tells you right out of his thin lips, oh yeah, because all the fancy people are coming in. Yeah, that's true. Right there showing that we don't give a damn about the residents and the small businesses and the targets and all these places that are leaving. The camps can stay there, the tents, people can shoot up, they can do whatever. When certain people come into town and we want to put up this fake image and we want to cater to them, we're going to do it. The people from San Francisco should be outraged by this. Not only are they using existing funds, could have showed you they could have did this, uh, they're repainting things, showing you they could have did this eons ago. They're going to do it now because certain people, and he admits it right there, just doubles and lets you know it. You think it's because of them? And you're 100% right.
He tells you, we're going to do this. We're going to put you guys last. And guess what? You're going to line up to vote for whoever has a D next to their name every single time because we have a stranglehold, a mental lock on each and every one of you. He should be ashamed of himself, but I don't blame him. You know why? Because they can do whatever they want. They could eat infant baby stew every morning and admit to it and vlog themselves doing it and people will still line up because they're just locked up. Anything but Republican, anything but what's different than what I think is right. They can't get out of their own way. So he can do this. He can lie. He can say, listen, you guys can't go out, but I can go eat out with friends without a mask and I can do it because you already know rules for thee, but not for me. Anybody who would line up and vote for this clown after he puts it in your face like this, you get everything you deserve. And once these people all leave, the homeless will come right back. I bet you they have security, all of that, making sure that I don't even know where they were. They probably picked them all up, load them up in a bus and took them to some other state. Who knows? And then they'll bring them back. This is just shameful. Hush up, boy. But that just goes to show you your government, your local leaders, mayors, governors, senators, all these people do is lie to people. They just tell you what you want to hear so they can get your vote four years later. They line back up to tell you the same lie. And majority of people, which is sad to see, just fall for it hook, line, and sinker. They never deliver results. All this stuff, oh, we're going to stop racism, all this nonsense that they know is just a boogeyman. They just tell people that and they line up for it. So I don't blame him for sitting up there and he's like actually laughing laughing about it, has like a little grin on his face because he knows he's going to get away with it. Nobody's going to hold him accountable, but you guys let me know. Maybe I'm reading too much into it. Maybe it just took them a little time. You know, I know it's been years, but maybe just this week just happened to line up and that's when they started cleaning it. So this is just a disgrace. But after all these businesses leave, after all the crime, the small businesses crying out, the people that actually pay taxes, mind you, that want a safe and clean city, they get ignored. But when people from China and overseas come in, now it's time to put on the front. Let's just, you know, let's just spit shine this turd real quick. And then once they leave, we'll let it go right back to hell. Just you watch, man. This guy is just, these people, him, uh, London Breed, the mayor, should be ashamed of themselves. And the people of San Francisco, California should get them the hell out of there. But guess what? I'll let you in on a secret. It won't happen. Period. Thank you guys for tuning in. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe. Gotta be subscribed to this great channel. And don't forget to share so we can get it out there. And I will catch you guys on the next one.